You're here at the uh, incredible Four Seasons Sultana Met with yeah. the chef. Yeah. Who are we talking to today? <laughs> My name is Savaş. I was born at uh, Bolu, uh, middle of the Ankara and Izmir small city. It's fam- uh, this city is uh, really famous of two chefs. Uh, lots of chefs is come from uh, there. My uh, mother, my uh, two big brothers, also they are chefs. My uncles, my lots of you know uh, cousins, they are chefs. Mm-hmm. I was born in uh, 1974 there, and then uh, I started school. And uh, middle of the high school, I stopped to. Uh, school and then I start to work with the, my uh, uncle mm-hmm. I was uh, 15 years uh, old mm-hmm. and then I like very much because my uh, when I you know uh, see my uh, brothers and my ma- mothers you know they were looking they were wearing nice and then they are you know going everywhere in the world and then I like very much to go you know somewhere and then uh, also, they, they were uh, cooking at the home mm-hmm. that time. I was very impressed because I like very much to eat. Mm-hmm. Also, to, to do something because, yes, everybody, you know, they can, they, they have to eat. But also, if, if you cook something, if you do something, if you serve to some people or friends or, you know, family or, you know, guests, and then if you, they like your what we are doing, mm-hmm. it's nice to, you know, to see yes. their, you know, uh, face. Makes you happy. Yes, yes. exactly, exactly. And, uh, and I started, you know, 15, you know, when I was 15 years, and then I start to uh, cook, mm-hmm. train, or, you know, what, you know, and apprentice something. And then I, I work uh, a few restaurant, a local restaurant, mm-hmm. which means, you know, we are, we are seeing Lokanta, Yes. Traditional, typical uh, Turkish cuisine. Yes. I work for five years there, you know, different restaurant. In that city? In that city. And then I moved to Antalya side, mm-hmm. uh, south of Turkey, and Antep side. Mm-hmm. I worked there three years because I like very much to see another, you know, uh, not cuisine, but, you know, uh, herbs, right, uh, vegetables. From and a but, different part of the exactly, country. Yeah. Exactly, exactly, exactly. And then, uh, I worked a few years there, and then I came back to Istanbul, and I start to work a five-star hotel, uh, civil hotel. Right. I worked uh, 14 years there, but mm-hmm. different. I started uh, from the uh, staff cafeteria and room service and uh, Mediterranean cuisine, uh, French cuisine and Japanese cuisine also, mm-hmm. and then uh, 2008. I stopped there and then I moved for season star, for season Sultan Ahmed. Wow. As a, a sous chef. Mm-hmm. And then I I was work with the, my exil chef two years. He moved another uh, our property uh, Bosporus. Yes. At the same position, and then I get title executive sous chef right. executive chef. Yes. Here. Uh, and here you are. Yeah. 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 Now I am working with the 25 uh, staff. Mm-hmm. Uh, we are serving uh, lunch, dinner, and uh, also banquet. Mm-hmm. And also summer time we are two. We have two uh, terrace. Mm-hmm. We are serving there. Also we are doing outside kitchen. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, talk about uh, the city where you are from. Hmm. What is the cuisine that's there? Are there special dishes that that area is known for? Special spices, or you know, what what did you grow up? What was the in typical? my in my city? Yes. Yeah, in my city, you see, famous of you know, uh, lots of you know about uh, three thousand years before, mm-hmm. they were working at the palace. Yes, in the Ottoman palace. Yes, for the yeah for the uh, yeah uh, yeah. For the Sultan? For the Sultan, wow. yes, yes. And then, and then they, they, they were, that time they were doing, uh, seeing lots of uh, ingredients, lots right. of, you know, vegetables, lots of, you know, fish. And then, mm-hmm. and then uh, they bring lots of uh, items in the, our country, from this time to our uh, bowl in mm-hmm. our country. They were doing that. And uh, in my country now, 
lots of uh, we are seeing puff pastry, mm -hmm. börek about maybe you know 20 25 kind of puff pastry mm -hmm. like a pocha like simit and uh, börek and that kind of things it's very really famous our country i see yeah and uh, herbs uh, now still still is in continuous mushroom mm. we have about 13 kind of mushroom mm. is coming from my country and now i am getting from there Every every you know season, mm -hmm. different kind of mushroom uh, fresh is coming from my country. Yes, it's not too far. About three hours with the by the car. Yeah. Cooking in a hotel, you're dealing with a lot of guests from different countries around the Ex world. Exactly. Do you try to cater to those tastes, or you just present your Turkish cuisine and that's what you hope no. that people enjoy? Also, we have to we have to think about what they like. Right. Also. I am uh, I am cooking with, with the what uh, what I can find in my country because we have to uh, for me if somebody come to Istanbul they has to taste Turkish food yes but also maybe they don't like we have to, I am trying to combine it with the Mediterranean cuisine and Turkish cuisine yes I am using local uh, herbs vegetables uh, fish. But I am combining the Mediterranean uh, style. Right. Turkish cuisine is really nice, but it's a bit heavy. Yes. For example, we are using a lot of lamb. Yes. But European people they don't like. Too, they don't. They are like, but not too much right. lamb. I'm, I am combining the lamb. How we can get without fatty? Right. Yeah. And how, how we can how uh, can I do it a bit? Uh, uh modern yes presentation yes yes yeah i am trying just you know to serve modern uh, real uh, turkish cuisine to go presentation and a little bit uh how can i say uh different or different or unique unique yeah, yeah unique yeah. and what's a typical dish uh, that you serve that is an example of that for example lamb shank mm -hmm. in uh, Normally in our cuisine lamb shank uh, It says cook with the bones with uh, It says cook again uh, 12 hours in the oven mm -hmm. It's slow to cook mm -hmm. uh, but we, we were serving with the bones and with the fat one part of lamb shank mm -hmm. But now I, you know, I was thinking, you know, how we can serve, you know, nicely and for the uh, our guest. Again, we cook same style. Mm -hmm. uh, Twelve hours in the oven with the dry fruits, mm -hmm. uh, and I take out all of fat and bones, little bit, you know, and then I put the small ring, mm -hmm. and then we put the uh, again. It's cooked with the dry uh, fruit. Mm -hmm. Apricot, and then I did it at apricot pure. Mm -hmm. I put on top like a, a cake. Wow! Yeah, like a cake. Again, uh, this dish uh, normally uh, serving with the uh, smoked eggplant. Uh -huh. But smoked eggplant, they, they were cutting also, you know, big piece and then uh, it's chunky. Again, I did the you know, pure, and I put I put the uh, chiffon, uh -huh. chiffon. Like a foam, right, right. Yeah, it's a bit more healthy and more clear and more tasty. Interesting. Yeah. Um, what is a typical Turkish dish that a visitor to Istanbul should definitely try that that you would serve? Yeah. Always, I am saying Turkish food is not kebab. Right. Yes. Part of the Turkish food kebab, but small part of the you know cuisine just small. But lo, you know, for me, is uh, for me, they has to taste mezes, mezes and casserole dish. And because for people who don't know, would you briefly say what is a mez? Uh, we can we can say hünkar beyandi. Uh -huh. Is cook again uh, uh, beef ragu. Uh -huh. Is cooking again about in the in the pot in the casserole uh -huh. again uh, three hours something and it's serving with the eggplant 
Right. It's different, you know, dish, but more tasty. Right. And also, lahmacun. We are saying lahmacun is similar like a pizza, but it's not pizza. Okay. Like a pide and lahmacun. They have to try. Right. For me. And also, they has to they has to try uh, börek. But uh -huh. I I will say, uh, börek is like a puff pastry. Uh -huh. About maybe you know twenty twenty five kind of you know. Dish the you can see in the country, right? Right, yeah. But talash börek, and we are seeing water börek is cooking in, it in the water, and then they are taking and then they are putting again in the oven. Mm -hmm. It's uh, with the cheese, they have to try, okay. Uh, and then a similar question what is a typical Turkish uh, street food that you think someone that comes to Istanbul should definitely try? and is there a place that they should go for that? Hmm. Uh, 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 I, I forgot in English. Uh, trip. Uh huh. Uh, they has trip soup. They has to try. try. Yeah, trip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trip soup. They has to try. In Beşiktaş, Champion uh, Cockroach is writing Champion Cockroach restaurant name. Uh huh. They can go. And then they have to try trip soup. It's okay. three traditional uh, Turkish food. And also döner. You know döner, döner kebab? kebab. Yeah. Yeah, döner yeah. kebab. And then uh, one place in the again in Beşiktaş. Uh -huh. They are doing every day uh, 100, 110 kilo. And they are starting 11 o'clock in the morning. And then wow. it's finished after 5 o'clock. Finish, finish. Wow. Yeah. You have to wait minimum. We have to wait. 20 25 minutes to you know to eat you know uh, to eat you know right yeah to wait for it yeah, to wait yeah for, yeah. yeah for to go inside and also uh, again uh, börek right if you go outside you can see you know now after the you know when you go to, uh, outside you can see lots of börek uh, small small börek uh, place uh -huh. but just they are they were serving uh, morning time and then. They have to taste every uh, small uh, barracks house. Uh -huh. They has minimum, you know, uh, five, six kind of barracks. Yes. They were serving starting morning five o'clock till eleven o'clock, and then they have to done. test. Yes, right. exactly, exactly. They have to test, and also uh, fish and bread, like a sandwich. You can see the, for me. They have to taste. In the Eminönü, uh -huh. not too far here, not too far away here. Uh, again, they are starting in the eleven o'clock and then to midnight, and mm -hmm. then they has to they has to try it for me. Okay. Uh, when you're not working, what yeah. do you like to do to relax? Do you go anywhere? Do you? I like very much to fishing. When really? I was, you know, day off or you know, have a time to two hours, three hours. Uh -huh. you know, I am going to fishing because that time. Still, I am doing something, yes. and then uh, I am relaxed. If, if someone enjoys the cuisine here, yeah. and they want to go home and try doing some of it themselves, what are some spices or ingredients that a visitor to Turkey yeah. should take home yeah. so that they can try to make some typical t Turkish dishes at home? Yeah. And then I will ask you the dish that they should try to make. Uh, we have pomegranate. Molasses, pomegranate molasses. It's yes. really typical Turkish, and then these uh, items you can use for the salad, and also you can use for the hot meal, main dish, right. main dish, and also sumak. Yes. Yeah. Again, uh, you can use for the uh, salad and first course things, and yes. also you can use for the main course. Yes. For example, sumak. If you would like to have uh, main course. Uh, for example, still we are serving here. I will explain what we are serving here. Yes. The sumak. Uh, we have small uh, meat uh, meatball. Mm -hmm. uh, we are doing from the lamb meatball, yes. not spicy. Mm -hmm. And then we are uh, give, uh, putting the oven, mm -hmm. wood oven. Mm -hmm. And then tomato. That time tomato, pepper, onion. Mm -hmm. And same time we are putting with the again wool, tomato, wool, onion, wool, uh, yes. bell pepper. We are putting the oven. Uh -huh. It's cooking with the you know it's cooking about 15 minutes something. Mm -hmm. And then 
we are taking all of them. Mm -hmm. We are chopping uh, all vegetables mm -hmm. with the sumac. Mm -hmm. A little bit olive oil. We are putting the you know uh, plate mm -hmm. on top uh, meatballs, mm -hmm. and then we are serving. Mm. Easy but tasty. Uh, and that's something that someone yeah, can, yeah, exactly, can make exactly. it home. Great. With the pomegranate also, yes, you, they can you know they can do you know easy salad, like a shepherd salad, mm -hmm. like a Greek salad mm -hmm. or parsley salad. Mm -hmm. If you if they put you know pomegranate on top, they will they will see how was the taste. Wonderful. Um, we all know the big tourist mm -hmm. monuments and sites in Istanbul. Yeah. Is there something that's a little more unique? that you think a visitor should see, yes, you should see the Blue Mosque in Hagia Sophia, but you should also see this little, you yes. know, anything special or unique uh, in terms of a place to visit or, yeah. you know, something to do. Uh, for me, I will uh, say first a restaurant. Lots of people there, yeah, you know, on the tour uh, at the uh, tour guide, you know, yes. Lots of restaurant name, but I will say you know one restaurant I didn't see in the in the tour guide. Asian side, Kadıköy Soy Chia restaurant. Chia restaurant. And how do you spell they it? They has to go Chia. C I U A. Okay. In the Asia side. Yeah, Asia okay. side. They has to go there. Okay. They will they will see what they you know. What is the Turkish cuisine there? Okay. And also, that place.